Is this thing on? Can you guys hear me? Okay, it's on. Hey, what's going on, guys? Jake's TV here. I hope you guys had a great Tuesday, April 18th, 2023, because, guys, I've had a very rough day, and I am very angry. And why am I angry, you ask? Well, let me tell you all about my day, starting with this morning. The reason why I'm angry is because something happened in fifth period, which I will get to after I explain about my whole day. So, starting with this morning, last night I had a very bad dream. I dreamt I got into a fight with my mom. She was yelling at me for no, for no reason. And then I, this morning, I woke up and had to get ready and do my bedtime routine as quickly as I could. You know, get dressed, brush my teeth, wash my face, lock up my room, say goodbye to my cat. Except my cat, she kept trying to come upstairs and I had to take her back down. And I had to rub her ears to make her stay downstairs. Cats... Love having their ears rubbed. My cat, she was crying all night. I don't know why. I already fed her and... And... Loved her, but... Yeah. I don't know why she wouldn't... She was crying all night. But that's not why I'm angry, guys. Like I said, it's something that happened in fifth period. So back to my story. So guys, when I got to school, on my way to homeroom, I passed Miss H. And she said that I was called to the office. And when she said that, I was a little worried, guys. And the announcements were, and the morning announcements were on. And... The librarian lady, the library teacher, passed me and said Menomina, and I told her no talking during the announcements. Because, guys, when they're doing announcements at school, you, ha you can't talk. You have to pay attention and be quiet. So don't ever talk during announcements, kids. Remember that. I got in trouble for talking during announcements back in elementary school. So always pay attention to the announcements, kids. Don't talk during while they're doing the announcements. Anyway, so I went down to the office. I thought I asked Miss H if I was in trouble, but she said no. And the reason why they call me to the office is to measure my height and weight for a gown, graduation gown. And I didn't know my weight, so the lady, lady at the office said 1.5. And surprisingly, it didn't take that long. Yeah, that didn't take long. And, and I only had to stay in homeroom for a little bit because, well... When I got to homeroom, when they were ending the announcements, the bell went off, and it was time to go to first period. But Miss W was at school, and Miss H told me that she knows I was at school, so she didn't have to mark me absent. And in first period, nothing much happened except we cleaned the kitchen. Cleaned some dishes and put away face cloths and... Yeah. But, except Miss G wasn't at school again today. Her supply was there again. The same supply who told me rudely to move my backpack, but surprisingly, she was nice. 
And we didn't even have to wear hair nets. All we did was just clean the kitchen. Well, only one student wear a hair net, which was a girl who was making chicken. And good thing I didn't miss my break like I did yesterday. And nothing much happened in biology, except I did some paperwork. And in photography, well, I was supposed to do an assignment on Teams, but I couldn't get onto Teams. And Miss H, my EA teacher, almost made me put my password, put my phone number in. in but I didn't want to do that because, because guys, you can't give your phone number to a stranger or to a website because it's too much information. So don't ever give your phone number to a stranger, kids. Don't ever give a phone number to a stranger. Always stay away from strangers. Don't give them your phone number. And I spend all photography class trying to sign into Teams. But I couldn't. And, and at lunch, well, nothing much happened at lunch. I just went, I typically went to McDonald's and the park to eat. And when I got home, when I got back from lunch, when I got back to school from lunch, I I went straight to fourth period and we learned about typical electricity. And when I was writing down notes, Mr. B.H. made us turn, go to the back of the classroom and I was still writing and he told me to come back here and he couldn't have just waited which was rude of him. And then came Production Probe. <sighs> and yeah, guys, the reason why I'm angry because something happened in Production Probe, AKA fifth period. So I'm gonna tell you very slowly. So, Guys, remember that project about the radio commercial I was told to do? Well, after I recorded my voice for the radio commercial, I was going to do the soundtrack. Miss, Miss M helped me with the music part, but and I did the voice thing by myself. But I didn't know how to do the soundtrack, so I waited for her to come over. And she told me that I had to make it one minute and 30 seconds. And told me, tell me, and, and write about the product that I'm selling. And I told her that I already wrote down information about the product, product, product. I almost said, sorry guys. And she said that I have to make it longer and tell her all about the product that I'm selling. And, and she told me that I have all week to work on it because it's due Friday, Friday, April 21st. And then she just walked away on me. And that made me so angry. And Miss H told me, no. And I said, yes. 
And I gave her some angry looks. And Miss H told me not to look at her. Because it's rude. And disrespectful. But guys, I was angry. When my anger meter goes high, I can't control it. And I was so angry, I tried to rip my sweater. And Miss H told me not to, and I told her I wanted to, and she said, no, I didn't. And I told her, yes, I did. And then I had to take a few deep breaths before I started writing again. And I had to crumble the, the script that I just wrote on the, that I spent riding on the bus ride home yesterday. Because she didn't like it because it was so short. And then Miss M came over and told me that I had to tell her what about the product. And that made me angry again. I was just so angry at her. And so annoyed. And when I told Miss H that I was so annoyed, she said that I was annoyed by my, at myself. But I wasn't. I was annoyed at her. And she convinced me to Go out and have a walk to walk out of the classroom and go for a little walk. But I can't just walk out of the classroom. I would get in trouble. And she then she convinced me to, that she and I should go talk to Mr. W. But I was so angry she wouldn't let me leave. She couldn't make me leave the classroom. Because guys, guys. She told me that she's the teacher, and I told her I understand that. And you're probably saying that she's the teacher. Now, guys, I understand she's the teacher, and she's doing her job, but she's stressing me out. She's literally stressing me out. I just can't deal with her, guys. I can't deal with her anymore. I am 18 years old. I was all red in the face because of her. She made me angry. She made me red in the face. <sighs> She's giving te she gives she gives teachers a bad name. I don't like the way she's treating me. I don't like the way Miss M is treating me, guys. She's causing confusion and delay. And here are the angry looks I gave her. Mostly, you are causing confusion and delay. You are causing confusion and delay. You have caused confusion and delay. You have caused confusion and delay. You have caused confusion and delay.
You have caused confusion and delay. You have caused confusion and delay. So, yeah, guys, I am very angry at Miss M. I've had just about enough with her, the way she's treating me. 
Tomorrow, I am going to talk to Mr. W, because I need his help. Now, I understand that she's the teacher, guys, and she's doing her job. I mean, Miss H told me that, and you guys are saying that she's the teacher, and she's doing her job. But, I'm not, I've had enough with the way she's treating me. She's been treating me like this since the first day of, of second semester. She treated me badly on the first day. She treated me badly when Miss H was gone. And she's been treating me bad when Miss H came back. And now she's being not nice to me after I come back from Florida. This is not what I deserve when, after I come back from Florida. When someone's come back from vacation, you need to be nice to them. And I almost got so angry, I wanted to yell at her. But I couldn't, because I would get in trouble. I've had enough with Miss M treating me like this, guys. I've had enough. She gives other teachers a bad name. And I have to deal with her until June 20th. And the school year is almost over. School is out in two and a half months. I just can't deal with her. She is stressing me out. She is making me angry. She makes me want to yell at her. But I'm not going to yell at her because I would get in trouble. I don't know what I'm supposed to do besides tell Mr. W, guys. I mean, I know I need to, sp I need to speak up and tell her how, how I'm feeling the way she's treating me. I need to speak up, guys. I need to tell her how I feel the way she's treating me. But I'm worried if I told her how she's treating me, I would get in trouble. I need to speak up. I've had just about enough with her. If I was a police officer, I would arrest her. She needs to be arrested for student abusing. She is A-B-U-S-I-N-G-ing me, guys. She's treating me like dirt. And I've had enough. I mean, I appreciate her help yesterday. She helped me all class. She spent all class helping me yesterday with a different project. But I'm not, I'm not happy for what she did today. And before I left class, I told her that she and I are going to have a talk tomorrow. And, and the reason why I'm going to talk with her tomorrow is what she did today. And me and Miss H on the way to the bus, me and Miss H had to make a stop at the staff room because she had to pick up her coat. And Mr. D, my 11th grade second period teacher, asked how was Florida. And I told her that I've had a, and I told him I had a rough day. I didn't want to tell him. I didn't want to tell him because Miss M made me so angry. And I told Miss H that Miss M is such a virus. And I've had enough with her. Miss M needs to stop treating the way she's treating me. Because I've had enough. She's stressing me out. She's making me angry. I've had enough with her. Teachers should be, students should be treated with respect. Students should be treated with respect.
And I have a feeling Mr. W is going to tell my mom and... The more I think about it, guys, more stress is coming into me. I just can't deal with it anymore. I just can't deal with it anymore. And I apologize for yelling, guys. I'm just so angry. Miss M, Miss M is causing confusion and delay. And because of her, I'm probably not going to graduate grade 12. And I have to deal with her again tomorrow. And Thursday and Friday. She is causing, Miss M is causing confusion and delay. And I've had enough! And my mom can hear what I'm saying. She's probably going to call the school tomorrow. I've just had enough with teachers not giving me respect, guys. Teachers have been disrespectful to me since I started kindergarten. The teachers in kindergarten didn't disrespect me. The teachers in first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade. All the teachers in the grades I've gone to have disrespected me. And... I've just had enough. I've had enough. And I don't know what else to do, guys. Besides tell Mr. W. I don't know what else to do. I know you guys are saying talk to my mom about it. But. I don't know how to tell my mom. The last time I told my mom about something that happened at school, it didn't go so good. And she and I got into a big fight. Back in 8th grade, when a, when a kid was annoying me, she and, I, she and I got into a fight. I just don't know what else to do, guys. So I need you, to, I need you guys to do me a favor. I need you to leave a like. Hopefully, Miss M would stop disrespecting me. I'm going to give Miss M one last warning. If she's rude to me again tomorrow, there's going to be consequences. And you guys don't want to know what those consequences are. I'm going to give Miss M one last warning. I've had enough. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you and update you tomorrow after school. And guys, when I got home from school, I was so angry. I, just, I took a nap and slept till nine. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. So... Remember to leave likes on my videos, subscribe to Jake TV and Jake Peter Landers, my two YouTube channels. Go check out my new community tab and leave a like. Hopefully Miss M will stop disrespecting me. And I will talk to you then. Bye.